So, okay, we're asked to find the area of this shaded region. If ABC is an equilateral triangle and AED is a semicircle. Okay, so what we have to do is to locate the center of this semicircle. So if we call the center here, let's call it. So let's call it O. And let the point of intersection of this line and the semicircle, let's call it F. So if we join O to F and O to E, we have the radius of this semicircle. So if we join we have the radius of the semicircle and as you can see this side of this equilateral triangle acts like a tangent line to the semicircle so the this angle between these two should be 90 as the relationship between the radius and the tangent line and if we call as you can see for us to get the area now is the sum of the areas of this the sum of the area of this area one maybe area a area b and area c so once we add the two area that's our answer so and as you can see each of this interior angle this is an equilateral triangle So this angle 60 degrees is 60. This is also 60. And here is 30 since this is night. And this is the radius radius. So here is 60. This is also 60. So why here 60 30? This should be night to make it 180 angle on the street line. So angle night. So once we sum the areas we get, so let's now get the area. The, before we solve, because the major problem is to get the radius. So if I call here x from our 30, 60, 90 triangle, the one opposite 30, if it's x, the one opposite 60 will be x times root 3. Why the one opposite 90 is 2x? So this total is 2x. Why this is the radius? Our radius is s root 3. This is also x root 3. Why this is also x root 3? That's from here to here. So our main aim, the total length of this triangle is, is now 2x plus x root 3 that's the total length that's the length of this tri equilateral triangle so our major aim is again now is to get the because we've known the radius as x root 3 this is also x root 3 so we need to get the value of x using this information they gave us here how do you get it is simple you know the sides of the triangles are the same and they gave us here as 1 plus root 3 and here is x so here and here must be the same so this and this must be the same and to get it easily since i'm seeing x here let me make this one to have x i have x plus x plus x root 3 so we are still correct because this is 2x so we can easily see that if here is x and the remaining part is x plus x root 3 implies that our x is 1. See, it's 1 plus 1 root So x is 1. So our s, x is 1. That was direct comparison. So the radius of this semicircle is root 3. So to find the area now, the area shaded is now area of the triangle plus area of the big sector plus area of the small sector so 
so which is this and equilateral triangle we have a special formula for that which is root 3 over 4 times the side squared the side is remember our x is 1 so root 3 squared so that is the special formula for area of an equilateral triangle root 3 over 4 the side squared times side squared plus the area of the big sector is 90 over 360 times pi r squared pi or r is root 3 root 3 squared why the small one is as you can see is 30 over 360 times pi root 3 squared so we now have 3 root 3 over 4 plus as you can see this is this both have pi root 3 squared over 360 so 90 plus 30 is 120 so 120 in 360 is 3 so 3 times so we have pi do you get the logic they have pi, pi root 3 squared over 360 in both so this over this you factor it so we now have 3 pi over 360 90 plus 30 is 120 so 3 and 360 120 120 will cancel 120 so that's the answer so the answer is option option a so it's a very simple but tricky question thank you